The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is Mick Shot streaming live on DallasCowboys.com and the official Dallas Cowboys app. Now, here are Bill Jones, Savannah Hugh Moeller, Everson Walls, and Mickey Spagnola. And three out of four ain't, ain't bad. bad. That's right. right Meatloaf, <laughs> two out of three. We're three out of four here because Bill Jones, uh, I guess, has a day job. And uh, with the Stars and the Mavericks still playing, he's uh, a little bit overwhelmed. Two day jobs. In two town, jobs. though. And uh, I saw him last night doing his sports cast so mm-hmm. i know he's alive and well <laughs> just not with us on mix shots uh, in our swb did he look studio. fatigued did he look fatigued uh he looked bags okay under his eyes because he didn't have to go on site to do uh, anything he, uh, exactly. he was running the command mm-hmm. from the studio when he had helpers uh at the different uh, games so Everson Walls, Savannah, Mickey here with you. Uh, the Cowboys uh, will have an OTA session today. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see the guys out there gathering, getting ready for the start of their OTA session, mm-hmm. which got severely, and I think severely is probably the right word, yes, it is. interrupted uh, yesterday by the storms overnight. Did everybody survive? I was going to ask Absolutely. you guys, how are you doing? You know, this yeah. is crazy. I was, man, I, I, oh, my God. I'm surprised my daughter didn't come downstairs and jump in bed with her parents. Did it wake you up? Oh, yes. No oh. doubt. And I couldn't sleep after that. Blew me out of bed. Done. Yeah, I was Basically, done. when I heard it, it was like, holy. <laughs> and then I looked outside and I go, you know, the trees in the back, they ain't got a chance in hell. <laughs> it's so funny that, you know, I woke up and, you know, Actually went around the neighborhood and you see mm-hmm. trees like torn up by the root, like on TV type stuff. I'm like, man, I made that okay. And then I looked at my like, oh, wait a minute. There's a branches almost it's it was uh on our fence between our neighbor and our uh, and ourselves. it was on our fence. The shed that my son and I tried to put together in the back, the roof came off of it and the door oh, came no. off oh, of no. it. Oh no. Yeah, man. So he's gotta take all his his yard stuff and, and get it to dry out because it got soaked. He said, I didn't know it, but he said the uh, the grill was just knocked over. Tipped it, over? Yeah, yeah, just knocked over on his back. And so he had already taken care of it before I got out there. But I still have a, a branch, you call it a branch, it, it looks like as big as a tree from one of my trees. It's laying over on the sidewalk, so I have to get it off the sidewalk. Yeah, sounds like something. a lot of work. Yeah, we yeah, got man. we got one of those in the back. It's like third of the tree cracked yeah, off. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Same here. And I just cleared out <laughs> another tree that it uprooted and fell. And it's like, oh come on! Mm. But other than that, yeah, we kind of survived. Yeah, so we're, we're okay. Oh yeah. Spent yeah, we're okay. yesterday picking up sticks. It seemed like <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, that's what I had to do. So to I came it. up here to the facility at like nine o'clock. Drove through some of the rain, but they and didn't the have power, any power, right? Uh, Correct, but we we were supposed to be working yesterday, and there was no power. The Wi-Fi still was working though, for some reason uh-huh. the Wi-Fi was working. Right. So I was fine That's with right. that. Same here. But uh, no power. We made it through. It came back on around noon, and that was that. It cleared out of here. I had assumed that there was a second round of storms coming in, is what everyone was telling That's what me. They and said was going nothing out. blew in. No, so the sun came that, out. Yeah. But I think there's like, hopefully people are getting their power back on because I think there was about five hundred thousand people in north texas without power said, almost yeah. 600 that's a lot I, I i still can't send a picture of my tree being blown down to family yesterday I can, because it kept saying you can't send because oh, the whole wi-fi the, crap mm-hmm. everybody's my wi-fi still out yeah i mean it's like i keep trying to send this one picture and it's nope can't send failed to send Although I thought I saw this morning, it said uh, Wi-Fi is working, no internet. It's like, well, what goods do Wi-Fi? I don't even know what that means. I I don't even know what that means. To me, it's the same thing. Yeah, (laughs) double talk. That's what that sounds like. Lost power uh, for an hour and a half, two hours in the morning, Uh, and I had a dental appointment, so I didn't know if they were going to cancel it. Right. So I found this little device we had. It's battery operated. You put it on the umbrella pole that you could sit outside it sits up like this and i said 
huh, I'm going to use that thing. That's more light than a yeah. flashlight, yeah. right? Well, of course, the batteries were dead, right? <laughs> oh, so here I am with a flashlight looking for batteries. <laughs> I got that thing going, put it upside down uh, or right side up mm-hmm. to take a shower so mm-hmm. I could see. About 7.50, they called or got a text message. We're going to open at 8.30. I said, okay, I'm That's on good. my way. And saw all the damage going Ugh. through Coppell mm-hmm. trees and branches all over the place. We spent the whole morning on what family WhatsApp. You good? You good? Everybody yeah. okay? Mm-hmm. Power's out over here. We're good over here. Trees down. You know, we're okay. It was just a lot of communication. Storm season. Well, I, all I want you guys to know is Double Oak finished number two in the second highest wind gusts at 80 miles an hour. Yeah. Now, that was when the, <laughs> when the sirens went off. Number that's two? when I got number number two. one. 86 miles an hour in, was it the colony? Uh, it was someplace kind of north going yeah. towards Frisco. You yeah. saw the plane? You saw so the plane hard. that yes, got blown up? Come yes. on, man. Come Did on. you see that picture? Oh, the American oh, Airlines. Come on, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. That's Something crazy. else. But yeah, it delayed, obviously, the Cowboys practicing. Mm-hmm. Practicing and media days, right? Exactly. Yeah. And that's yes. what you've been doing? Yes, was here at 6 a.m. this morning. We have our player media days today. They get to, you know, go through all the stations and just get some content that we need of them for the season. And uh, all the guys seem really happy to be here today and in a good mood. And we got practice underway here in just a little bit. They'll be on the football field. So those guys showed up at 6 a.m.? Well, we showed up at 6 a.m., <laughs> <laughs> but some of them started coming through around 7. So oh, they were okay. they were here probably doing something in the morning. So they get the OTA, OTAs in today, and we have availability to watch tomorrow. Mike McCarthy uh, with a press conference at 1045, I believe, mm-hmm. practice. And then next week is minicamp, hmm. and that's it until taking off for training camp. Mm-hmm. So we're moving right along uh, with this uh, uh, off season. Although I was wondering what Everson had to say about this. What's that? <laughs> that I saw some talking about if there's an 18-game season, mm-hmm. that there would be no OTAs. Like you would start training camp earlier, but nothing – that they would have to be a part of if there's an 18th game. See, when you start increasing games, then you have to increase pay. Right, but not time off. Well, I mean, as long as you increase the pay, I'm good with the time off. I mean, that means what, what do they do with the salaries? I mean, Well, that's a good question yeah. Yeah, because good, good all these – all these con- and I don't know when they would get to it, yeah. right? but the contracts now are contracts. You're right. So you get one less, another less preseason game. If I'm playing, if I'm trading a preseason game for a regular season <laughs> game, I want more money because I'm, you, they're gaining another game from mm-hmm. me, a game that means something versus a preseason game. First of all, I, I probably wouldn't even play in the preseason game right. as a starter. So that, that, you can't compare the games preseason versus regular season. That's so how would you make that adjustment on a contract that's already in place? Hey, try to break it down into what, 18th and then add another one. Right? So if you're getting if, if you're getting it in 17th, mm-hmm. then add one more 17th for the 18th. For the 18th. And you did say less But not OTAs. take 18 and divide it all by 18. No, now, no. But you get less yes, per game. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> and less OTAs? Uh, yeah, they they would eliminate them and and then eliminate you can, them. You could completely. start either start the OTAs before training camp. Got it. And see, which there's what some are ATAs, OTAs. They're they're what are they doing? They really don't work that hard right. anymore. Thanks to us. You, <laughs> really, I mean, we we did the sacrifice and we did everything. The set that up for yeah, everybody. That's right. I mean, so <laughs> to to use that as leverage. I'm not. It's like using a preseason game as leverage. That that is not leverage. It's you got to have something else. You got to give me something else. That, that's just my opinion. Yeah, because yeah. I think that what they thought was if you say you start training camp July 20th, so after the fourth you 
have OTA practice to get ready for training camp. Yeah, they're not. You got to dangle another carrot. But that also means you don't have anything to do from February to July. Mm -hmm. It's a long period of time off, if you ask me. A lot of time. I think it's good. That's also a long season. Yes, eighteen games. So what what would they would they would they would they factor in another bye week with that? Maybe you see, back to the old days, right? Yeah. When you had two buys, right? And if you do that, once again, yes, you get the rest, mm-hmm. but then that still stretches it out. Super right. Bowl is going to be played in March. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mickey, that's interesting you said that because I think their their goal is to have the Super Bowl the weekend of I think it's the is it President's Day, which is the. What the second week in February? Yeah. Or, 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 or Why is that? Or it's like, like the 18th, well, because 17th, you, that 18th. means they play the Super Bowl on Sunday, and then you get Monday off, like a day after the Super Bowl off, basically as a, like a federal holiday, right? So, Not players, everybody. No, but like everybody. Like, so off. you go to a Super Bowl gathering, and you don't have to go to work the next day, or if you're a fan, you go to the Super Bowl and you don't have to work the next day. Then you go to the what the parade. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying in general, you know. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Let's be honest with you, a Super Bowl in the, in the United States is a, is a holiday. Exactly. But then that really month, is. so is that Monday. Well, right now it's, it's not. For real. Yeah. But, now, but yeah, but now it's not. So then you do you have that Monday off, basically. So they'd start it the weekend after Labor Day like they always do. Mm-hmm. Not a bad thought. Yeah. I, d- I do like that. Yeah. Ever since I just noticed, did you come to play? You got a ball there. I know. This is for a friend of mine. For a friend of mine, one of the, the, I thought they were going to have a big star on it. I wanted to get a, a game ball with a big star on it. So I got a Cowboy fan out there in Virginia. Sending this to him. Oh, yeah. They, okay. They send it for their nephew. So good. Yeah, yeah. It's for the nephew. So I'm I didn't know that. if we were gonna pass it around. No, nah, man. Or what? You know, it need, this it needs. It's a little. You. It needs to be used a little bit. This is. This is too new. You know. You. This is a kicker's ball, I guess. No, kicker's ball are more worn. Correct. No, no. They're they're new. They're okay. Well, yeah. This is what looks more. They like have a to ball. kind of. You remember what you guys like used to do is. with the balls to break them in before you actually used them in a game? I, was, I wasn't over that department. Back you didn't in the take day. care of them? <laughs> no, I didn't know. I wasn't over that department. They just throw it to me, I catch it. So That's they used to, when, when we were at the ranch, they would take the, the new balls for the game that mm-hmm. week, and they would put them in the dryer with those, um, what are the fabric pads yeah, yeah, you yeah. put in there? Yeah, the, mm-hmm. soft, the, the yeah, softeners. The scented softeners. Yeah. yeah, and they would spin them to kind of break them in. And get the slickness off. Yeah, because of this definitely got. Some I also slick. used to see them take a baseball bat and, and go in the racquetball courts and 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 t- like you were taking batting Bat practice, practice on yeah. your own. Yeah, yeah, Throw them up and slam them into the wall to loosen them up. Well, we were so. Scientific. There used to be all these we, marks on those walls. We were white so walls. scientific. That's amazing. <laughs> well, that was better than deflating them, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Yuck! I, yuck! I, yuck! <laughs> yeah, stop. <laughs> Is this this must be what uh, Romo used? Yeah, when he missed the when they took the ball right out of the box. Right. And oh no! He had to Is snap that really it. what happened? That thing was shiny as hell. That's all I. <laughs> I know. didn't know that. With the that light, was supposed to be a joke, light. but it really did happen, right? I mean, well, it was a brand new ball. new ball. Yeah, brand new ball. Then everything started changing, where you had kicking balls and deflated balls. Deflated, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they, then they would put them in a room and they would, like baseball, and kind of rub them up. Mm-hmm. And then the officials had to be there to, to monitor. So did, did Romo's goof? Did that lead to anything? Any changes in the? NFL? I don't remember if any led to anything immediate, mm-hmm. but it was you could see by time, it because it was dark by then and the lights were shining yeah, on that ball yeah, pretty yeah. much. And went right through his hands, mm. all things. And he still almost scored. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to make it, and the guy just <laughs> caught him. All he needed was a block from the kicker. Better footwork. Just better footwork. Oh, that's all he needed. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And that, see, and that's how when people try to – and I understand they hadn't been to an NFC title mm-hmm. game in 28 mm-hmm. years, but that happened. Yeah. Right? And 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 Des no catch happened. Right. 
I still I still have my my knuckles. I have a little bruise on it when I you pounded <laughs> the no no when he caught it I thought I was at my boy's house man I was like yes I jumped up and this ceiling fan was still going oh no I, know, I hit my knuckle so, on, the, on the ceiling fan still pain in your hand man for that. pain for so painful we we're <laughs> slapping five I don't care we're slapping five and boy give me another beer man uh, wait what. <laughs> There's not what? No, no catch. Give me a break. No, no. It just went crazy. Never forget that day. T.O. S- suffers a high ankle sprain yeah. before that playoff game. Uh, Dropping the ball. Patrick Craig. And then, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was just, what? <laughs> just <laughs> wild. You can't make this stuff right. up, right? <laughs> yeah. But no one wants to hear it. And no, I understand, of course. right? Of no, that's just, that's our, you know, predicament to deal with no we don't want anyone else to share in that it is what it is that's just like Mm -hmm. uh yeah now it all comes back in your face with the stars and the mavericks in the conference finals Mm -hmm. although oops last night for the mavericks hey i know dallas is a it's a nice city to play sports and to watch sports it's just the best time right now it's so fun it It really is is. yeah you can get mad about green bay and all of that but when you look at the regular season there you look at what the mavs are doing jason kidd hell of a coach guys oh yeah so he's really doing well uh, they're unbelievable i think that they'll go in five but i was at the game last night yeah and well excuse us no no no. i was gonna say <laughs> some of our you know guys on the team they were there too so yeah, i saw saw, that. saw yeah. osa adigazua he was there uh-huh. michael parsons was there trayvon diggs i just saw trayvon just a minute ago yeah yeah yeah, yeah so they all were in attendance cool. cheering on the maps cool. so well they didn't cheer hard enough when they made luca and Kyrie make 13 of 39 oh, no. shots oh, no. I, I, I was happy. I was. I would be happy with a sweep, but I, I was realistically thinking it's going in six. So mm-hmm. even if they win out there, I think we, you know, we if we were to win in Minneapolis, that would really show how good. Yeah. We are. I hope so. So let's let's look forward to that. Well, they need to get lively back on the court. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was unfortunate for that to happen, and it showed up too. Yeah, because all of a sudden the middle. Although Gafford did a nice job. My goodness, does that guy have the longest blocks. arms you've ever yeah. seen in your life? <laughs> He's not as tall as you think, but his arms. How many times have you somebody <laughs> see somebody block a jump shot from twenty feet away? Right, it doesn't happen. You got great footwork. Great footwork. Well, got the stars tonight, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know about the rest of the people in this town, but from an emotional standpoint, just watching. Oh my God. It wears you out. It's we were like, texting, I right? Roller coaster. I still have the text uh, thread from, from all the of stars. Us. Oh my goodness! I'm, I'm, I felt like a commentator. I'm, I'm sending you guys all kind of. That was close, uh, you know. Like yes, they're oh, just God. so fun to watch, though. I mean, Jason Robert Robertson gets a hat trick, and they come back being uh, down by two, win six to two. Just, uh, right. just unbelievable. I'm sorry, six to three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, is this is this the Cowboys show? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> and we did talk about the season. Uh, one of the things I I uh, did want to I noticed. And, uh, we'll talk about it before we have to hit the break. Mm-hmm. Chris, are we out uh, hard at eleven? No. Okay, so we can keep going. Um, actually, let's take a break. And I've got two things I want to talk about. Number one. I thought it was an interesting list of quarterbacks the Cowboys will face this year. And then uh, another topic with, and you guys can chime in on this, did you know who Nico Collins was? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay. Uh, The uh, wide receiver. Right, for Mm -hmm. for the Texans who just signed an extension contract. Really? We'll get into that, too, which will okay. continue to complicate the C.D. Lamb uh, contract saga. And then also, uh, I wrote last Friday on kind of a blessing in disguise with the number of veteran guys not practicing, giving young guys more opportunities mm-hmm. now to get snaps they mm-hmm. wouldn't get. So. When we turn to mix shots here on DallasCowboys.com, we'll take on those topics. 
I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap at the Prescott who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. We know that juicy, cheesy, grilled-to-perfection burger sounds amazing, but it does sound like something is missing. Pepsi, baby! The yin to this burger's yang. Burgers and Pepsi go together like... Well, like burgers and Pepsi. This perfect blending of flavors makes every bite of lettuce, every sesame seed on the bun, and every sip of that crisp, refreshing, ice-cold cola. A journey to Foodopia. Burgers. Better with Pepsi. That's what I like. The Medal of Honor is our country's highest military award for valor in combat. More than 40 million individuals have served in the armed forces since the Civil War. Fewer than 4,000 have received the Medal of Honor. The National Medal of Honor Museum will be a place to preserve these legacies and inspire America. It's being built right next door to the Dallas Cowboys in Texas. Help us honor our country's greatest heroes. Learn more and get involved at mohmuseum.org. Did you know that responding to one spam call can lead to more? Or that the IRS would never ask for your social security number on the phone? Beat scammers at their own game by subscribing to AARP Fraud Watch Network alerts and texts. At aarp.org slash beatscammerstx, you can sign up to receive information that helps you recognize and avoid the latest scams. That's aarp.org slash beatscammerstx. To mixed shots. Dallas Cowboys Youth Football and Dance Camps presented by Invisalign are back. Athletes of all skill levels ages 6 to 16 are invited to learn from the best this summer at Ford Center at the Star in Frisco. Campers have the chance to learn technical skills and lessons on teamwork from former NFL players and the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Two or three day camps are available now. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash camps to learn more and register today. Does that qualify as a Savannah shot here on Mix Shots? <laughs> I would hope so. We're changing the name of the show, man. You just didn't know. You'll be the last one to find out. Hey, I thought before we uh, attack some of these topics that we uh, pay our respects to Bill Walton. Mm-hmm. Yes, Passed absolutely. away, uh, 71 years old. Um, so when he was starring at UCLA you were maybe in junior Hi. what uh, what year was that what year was he there so i think his rookie season was 1971 in the, or no that's when he won at UCLA uh, 11 let years let me find old. out i was 11 years old i want to say that was the the first 1971 nca mm-hmm. title yeah i was 11 years old i wasn't in junior high yet so I that was, was my first year playing football. Really? Mm-hmm. I think I was the Razorbacks, S V A A, Spring Valley Athletic Association. That was my last year in high school then. Yeah. Damn you old dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same. <laughs> no, we ain't. You're older than <laughs> Not me. Not you. I oh, met yeah. me and Walt. Oh yes, you are. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude. he was he was known uh for several things, I mean, he was a he was a trailblazer. Uh, he was one of those guys that, first of all, I think they said he tried to survive on sunflower seeds at one point. That's why he kept getting hurt. Yeah, that's why his bones were always so weak because I think he messed up his ankle several times. Uh, not just ankle, but just several broken bones mm-hmm. throughout his career. Just a weird connection between him and John Wooden, mm-hmm. who was you know. Button up. Uber conservative. What's the connection? Yeah, right. What's the connection? Well, Wooden was was very button up, tie conservative, traditional, mm-hmm. traditional, and, and, and Walton, Walton was, was anything but traditional. First of all, he was a hippie. He was That's a flower just, child. He was a hippie, yeah. <laughs> he, and he was, you know, at that time it was huge. He was anti-war, yeah. so he was out there picketing with the people that you know didn't believe in Vietnam. So, you know, that was huge back then, Mm -hmm. you know, as an athlete to be participating in that. He was not just there. He was, like, in front with the signs and Mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Spoke on it. 
uh, a lot throughout his early part of his career. Uh, very controversial figure. And that, that's at the same time that Ali and all the other guys were right. doing the same thing. So mm -hmm. for a young guy like him to come through like that, uh, he was unique, yeah. if nothing else. And unique when he got into the NBA mm -hmm. and then when he started his career as a broadcaster who everybody else is all dressed up and he'd come on with a tie-dyed <laughs> T-shirt, right, <laughs> doing games and challenging the play-by-play -play guy, right? They get in more arguments, mm -hmm. I think, than anything. But anyway. But he did it while smiling. Yeah. He always he smiled while he did it. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Um, let's uh, dive into what's going on in the OTAs right now with the Cowboys. And I, I was sitting there last week when I, I'm watching the practice. Uh, and, you know, at times during the week, uh, here's a list of the guys that were, were not practicing. Uh, Trayvon Diggs is still doing rehab. DeMarvian Overshone still doing rehab. John Stevens and David Durden, last year's rookies, tore their ACLs. They're still doing rehab. They hope they're ready for the start of training camp. Uh, you had Mozzie Smith, Luke Schoonmaker, still making their way back from off-season uh, shoulder surgeries. Mm -hmm. C.D. Lamb, not practicing with the Cowboys. Micah Parsons, not there, although there's been some thought he might be mm -hmm. here this week. Uh, to practice. And then on certain days, uh, there was no Zach Martin, no Demarcus Lawrence, uh, and no Eric Kendricks, veteran guys who, you know, and, and again, we go back to it is voluntary mm -hmm. and if those guys have, have stuff to do. Uh, so again, um, and, and I always like to bring this up back at the turn of the century, Cowboys linebacker Darren Hambrick was not in the what they called quarterback school. Okay. They renamed it OTAs mm -hmm. yeah. when it became official. But you were supposed to be there, but it was voluntary. Mm -hmm. And Hambrick it missed was, it was voluntary. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and and Hambrick missed like the first two weeks or something and he finally showed up and so everybody's gotta interview him and, you know, where you been? Why weren't you here? And he uttered the famous uh, phrase of, what do voluntary mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a That's good question. Beautiful. And just it's a good question. It's a good everybody wow. up, right? I mean, and it's all the, we the obvious. Of, it's the obvious. <laughs> it's all we could think of is, what if he had said that when Jimmy was here, right? Oh, no. <laughs> what do voluntary mean? Well, Jimmy mean? would make it clear that it isn't voluntary. Yeah. I, would, I right. believe he would do it. So anyway, uh, having said that, uh, if you look at with CD not here and then really not needing to overwork Brandon Cooks, mm -hmm. when you got to first team offense out there practicing, uh, that meant more first team snaps with Dak uh, for Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, Cavante Turpin. Those three guys, and you're looking at okay, you got to find a third receiver, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But now somebody's got to be the second receiver out there and the third receiver, so they get upgraded snaps. When if CD was there and Cooks was there, uh, you know, you got three guys then dividing the snaps. Now you got three guys dividing two uh, snaps on the first team offense. So that's a benefit because those guys need to There's play. There's no doubt about it. That's, that's an unexpected benefit that you just got. Now, uh, have we ever had, uh, the starting quarterback not show up? I do not ever recall that. Mm -hmm. Not the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Cause he's always under contract. Yeah. This is rare for the quarterback to be playing in his final year of his contract, yeah, right? That's why I was asking. Uh, although Troy sort of did. Okay. That 2000 season. Uh -huh. Now, they had a – there was a um, – oh, what do you call the – when you have the next year, it's not a, an official year on your mm -hmm. contract. Mm -hmm. Like an option year. Option year. Yeah. He had an option year mm -hmm. for uh, uh, 2021. Steve Pallure – 
had an option year for 2021 or 2011 uh no uh, 201 1989 oh, okay yeah All right. and then they drafted troy and jimmy was like yeah, go ahead mm -hmm. uh danny white had an option year that year but it was a team option which was a, a funny story because i ran into him in the spring and i said something like oh um you know with your contract are, are you you know concerned after drafting Troy Aikman that they won't pick up your option and he goes no I think it's my option and I said uh I think you should check on that <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough they decided a lot of surprises back to, then under, under Gil Brandt right? those guys oh yeah gosh. so anyway those guys get to have snaps they get work they with, get, they work. get with, some reps with, with, they get work with reps. The, the starting quarterback because normally yes. mm -hmm. the majority of them would be with the second guy right, right? right. the second quarterback mm -hmm. so anyway uh those guys get snaps uh I, I noticed that uh, when uh, so no Parsons, uh, and there was a day there was no Demarcus Lawrence. Mm -hmm. So now Sam Williams is getting first team reps, which he might have been getting, but not if both Parsons and Lawrence were there at mm -hmm. defensive end. And then Mar Marshawn Neelan, the rookie second round draft choice, was per working with the first team right. defense. So that wouldn't happen. So you're getting that they, guy I wonder ready. if they realize the what young an guys? opportunity this is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, it's not just about just being there. You got to be in the field of it. You got to understand exactly what you're trying to get from me doing this defensive call or offensive call. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, those things are very important. You don't just go out there robotic. You know, you hope that you get learned serious coaching points from here on because now you got a lot of one-on-one -on -one going. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I can talk to the coach now. He can tell me exactly what I should do here and there. Maybe my quarterback can show me, hey, man, how do you want this? You know, where exactly do I need to be when? And, you know, is the timing? Right. I want the timing to be perfectly perfect. What kind of adjustments should I look forward to making if they make adjustments on defense? I'm hoping it's not just going through the motions because this is valuable time that they can have. Yeah, because it's, it's more mental than anything no doubt. else, no right? Doubt. No and doubt. even and even it trickled down uh, at wide receiver. So uh, Ryan Flournoy, uh, the sixth round pick, is getting more snaps. Yes. And then I had forgotten this guy was here, uh, was on the practice squad. Racy McMath, uh, big, big. Wide receiver. Never heard of it. Yeah. Never, yeah. And, and now he's uh -huh. getting snaps okay. out there. So, uh, and even at the tight end position, uh, with Schoonmaker still not participating in the 11 on 11 stuff, and Peyton Hendershot uh, had a little something. John Stevens, remember mm -hmm. they were big on him in yeah. training camp, yeah. rookie free agent, and he's still coming back from his torn uh, ACL and suddenly getting. Upgraded snaps along with Jason Ferguson uh, is uh, Brevin Spawn Ford, rookie free what agent. A name. Mm -hmm. Kind of a yeah. <laughs> what a name. What a, 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 more of a kind of a blocking tight end. <laughs> right. But, but he 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 looks like he he might have something. And then uh, Princeton Fant, the other free agent tight end mm -hmm. that was on the practice squad. So all of a sudden those guys uh, are getting uh, snaps. And even on the offensive line, look. This time of year, they're not practicing Zach Martin. He doesn't need. He doesn't to, need the mental. Yeah. The need mental no, he doesn't need the mental right? work. No. So suddenly you got second-year player T.J. Bass playing on the first team at at right guard, uh, and, and so. And uh, they're lear they're learning, Spags. That's the main right. thing. They're learning. You got to learn. I mean, it's like being in class. You know. Uh, I'm falling behind on my grades or someone that right. may be ahead of me. I want to catch up with the honor class. You know, I want to bring my grades up. Uh, so to me, it's, this is extremely, extremely important. And, and when you start talking about having um, a, a, a go-to guy, we know C.D. Lamb's our go-to guy. I love that. But when you have a go-to guy, to me, you have to have those other guys come through and make some plays to open it up for C.D. To me, it's like you don't just go C.D., 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 Right. You know, you got to have, uh, as they, they say in basketball, the others come through and open the game up mm -hmm. so that CD can work. 
Otherwise, they will never take the pressure off of CD or anyone else that we choose to target. Right. We need these guys to be uh, to make their threes so that the, the paint can open up. You understand? Right. We yes. need them to make their three. We, if it's a ball thrown to you, then you do the most with that so that CD can feel more comfortable and the quarterback can feel more comfortable coming at you in mm -hmm. crunch time or right. clutch time. So to me, I think you should, you, you should be thinking of all of that if you're a backup coming in. Let's open the game up for our stars. I may not be a star, but I, I can be a better player and make us a better team. And see, same thing at at the offensive line with uh, trickle down with Bass, who would be getting second team snaps. Well, he's getting first. So on the second team, and there's, there's you know, spots to be had uh, uh, as backups. So Awesome Richards is getting second team snaps at guard. And so is Nate Thomas, the Cowboys' seventh round draft choice, mm -hmm. where those guys would be out there third team, right? right the right. whole time. Special teams. So it, it really helps out. Same thing at uh, linebacker. Now, I don't know if Parsons would be, because they're playing at times three linebackers. Right. Yeah. So, okay, you got Kendricks, you got Clark. Now, who's the third? Mm -hmm. Well, you would think Overshone, mm -hmm. but. He's not practicing. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, uh, your third round pick, Maris uh, Liafau, uh, is getting first team reps as a rookie. <laughs> as a rookie. So he and, and Nealon getting some upgraded snaps. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that uh, really helps. And the other thing with now, Mozzie Smith needs to be out there, yeah. right? Yeah. But he's still rehabbing. Mm -hmm. I get it. Uh, so suddenly Chauncey Golston and Justin Thomas, the uh, Justin Rogers, the last pick uh, in the draft, uh, ends up getting getting snaps. So uh, with the first team at mm -hmm, times. Mm -hmm. So again, it's it's really uh, helping out. Uh, and the same thing at at cornerback. Uh, so no digs. So you got basically uh, Duran Bland out mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and now suddenly they need a s second corner mm -hmm. on the outside. Mm -hmm. And Deshaun Wright, yep. who's going to probably mm -hmm. be in a, in a competition for his job okay. as a backup, mm -hmm. uh, is out there working with the first team. And then upgraded snaps for Eric Scott, who we forgot about. They traded for him last year he looked really good in otas he did. yeah i think he looked really okay. good and then josh butler and then the rookie kaylin carson so how's the, how's the rookie uh i don't know that i saw an, here's the deal the dbs cannot contest passes right. they can run with the wide receiver and be where they're supposed to be but when the ball's up in the air mm -hmm. it, it, you can't compete yeah but that's okay so I mean, you, you just kind of know right, where you're supposed right, to be and right. and mm -hmm. uh, and how you can uh, cover. So starting baby steps, facts, baby steps. I mean, they as long as they know that they can can make the play or at least compete for the play. If it's a 50-50 ball, but either way, if it's 50-50 ball, that means you're already in position. You can work on getting the ball when you go work out with your boys in the off season. Do they right. still do that? Go to Phoenix and and some they did. Dak took the wide receivers, mm -hmm. I think, to Atlanta last year. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they still kind of get together, and if not, in his backyard. If I'm, yeah. if I'm, if I don't care if I'm C.D. Lamb or if I'm told I'm, I'm going to that camp. I'm going with you guys. I don't, mm -hmm. you don't have to. I don't know who pays the way or who, who, whether you guys stay or whatever. But I'm going to be there. If I want to be on part of this team, I want to be a good wide receiver. And Dak or whatever team I'm on, they say, let's go. I'm going to be there. You don't have to call me. I'll be waiting on you. Uh, Michael Irvin had a saying uh, in the offseason, if, if Troy's throwing, I'm going. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it, it didn't matter when, I mean, where, or how much. That's, that's oh, how it's got to be. That's how it has to be. I mean, that's that's the mentality that – the Hall of Famers have. And Dak, when he, he got asked about the younger guys and, and what's going on, he said it's about getting these younger guys up to speed mm -hmm. so we can make sure when we hit training camp with everybody taking the next mm -hmm. step to make sure when we get in the fall with game one, mm -hmm. we're all at full speed. Don't be, don't be the New York Knicks. 
you know, <laughs> don't right. be the Knicks, right? The Knicks lost almost everybody this uh, this during this season yeah. in regards to the playoffs. That's why they're out. We don't want to be a team with no depth. And as we McCarthy continues depth. to say, is the biggest improvement this team can make is from within, mm -hmm. meaning young guys stepping, stepping right. up, That's right. getting their chances. Mm -hmm. They need Marshawn. Overshone to mm -hmm. step up. They yeah, need especially need the one. linebackers. Yeah, yes. Yes. yeah, absolutely. So anyway, it's kind of as I said, a blessing in disguise mm -hmm. that with those guys missing, there's a trickle down effect that other guys out there they got to take advantage. Snacks. They got to take advantage. Like, and I will say, even with our running back committee, yes, they looked great on rotations out there. Uh, Deuce Vaughn was getting some reps them. in, yeah. and I know uh, even Bill was saying how he thinks that Deuce may have some type of bigger role later on, and. He, he looked great. Royce Freeman was out there practicing. Like, I, I think we have a really good committee at this time. And then Zeke, obviously, leading a lot of what that looks like. I was a bit disappointed in uh, Deuce and, and how they used him. I'm hoping this year would be different. Because right. guys like him, they, you got to give me touches. He needs yeah. touches. I mean, you know, even, uh, God, what's the young guy, the, the, the small guy? Sproles. Mm -hmm. Even Sproles. Got a, at his size, he got a lot of touches during the games. A lot on receptions. Yes. They threw yes. the ball to Yes, him he did. Mm -hmm. And they got him in space. Right. But I, we didn't show any creativity in trying to get Deuce the ball in space. It seems like it was always figured out right. by the defense. So, obviously, we didn't – we didn't show them enough activity over here to take them off the ball over here on Deuce because every time he got the ball, somebody was on his ass. Excuse me. <laughs> well, they were. <laughs> and I think they are even more so because of his size. Like, okay, this little bug ain't but it, But if you, if you give it to me soon enough, then I don't have to worry about big man. Yeah. But it, when they got it to him, he was – he was always under duress. Because we by saw the time some of that in, in, in the preseason yes. games mm -hmm. when he got opportunities. Yes. I think one of the things that happened, and they're going to have to see if they can overcome that this year, uh, is he couldn't help him on special teams. Mm -hmm. And that was like a spot. Now, if I. Why got, couldn't he? You mean as a returner? Like a coverage guy. Oh, well, no. You want him to be the returner. And what, but Turpin was <laughs> the yeah, return was, right, guy. Right, right. So they couldn't create a whole uh, a, a spot for him. Now, this time around, with the kickoff rule changing, maybe he fits in there. I don't want him on the kickoff a little coverage. Bit more. I'm sorry. No, not coverage. <laughs> oh, maybe oh, as a return. Okay, okay. Because it's almost like a, <laughs> it's like a play from scrimmage he's almost. So cute, right? He's such a little cute guy. Yeah, right. I don't want him out there getting <laughs> but it's like good. That. It's good. He's getting some reps in. No, and you're right. He's, you know, good he's that out you there putting that. in some work. Uh, I I enjoyed watching him. And then not only that, but Trey Lance, he was out there taking snaps. He looked. Very decent as far as where he was throwing, and good. I think he got some uh, some good repetition in as far as when they kind of split the team. So yeah, that, that, it was good. You need that because once again, we don't know what could happen. Exactly, he could be the guy. And and they've basically made a point of you know second team reps. Yeah. It's probably Trey Lance because mm -hmm. we got to find out. We, we have to find to. out what we he is. We have to because he's, right? he's he's hell of an athlete, hell of a right. player. He's got a heck of an arm. Yeah. Too. Uh, and, and throws a nice ball. So, but again, they got to find it. You can see all that because that's all he did last year mm -hmm. was technique stuff, uh, arm slot. You know, throwing against air basically. Right. Yeah, it's good to see him have a little pressure like and compete. some build behind him where he can you know practice some of those aims. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And and I would imagine when we get to training camp, you're going to see even more. And probably in the preseason game. Oh, games. in the preseason game. We he may will even see. start. Yes, some. yes, he probably yes. will. They know what Cooper Rush is, right. right? Right. But he's on the final year of his contract. Mm -hmm. Trey Lance, final year of his contract. And oh, wait, Dax <laughs> on the final year of his contract. <laughs> Just thought we'd point that yeah, out. Thank right? you. Now I don't feel worried at all. All right. Speaking <laughs> of uh, quarterbacks, when we return on uh, mixed shots, we'll talk about some of the quarterbacks the Cowboys have to face this year here on DallasCowboys.com. The Medal of Honor is our country's highest military award for valor in combat. More than 40 million individuals have served in the armed forces since the Civil War. Fewer than 4,000 have received the Medal of Honor. The National Medal of Honor Museum will be a place to preserve these legacies and inspire America. 
It's being built right next door to the Dallas Cowboys in Texas. Help us honor our country's greatest heroes. Learn more and get involved at mohmuseum.org. Cowboys football and Miller Lite. What a pairing. Can cracks a kickoff. Tailgates going way past postgame. Sunday night overtimes followed by Monday morning swagger. Brisket in the smoker. Miller Lite in the cooler. America's team playing America's greatest sport. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys football tastes like Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. 2023 Miller Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. Did you know that responding to one spam call can lead to more? Or that the IRS would never ask for your social security number on the phone? Beat scammers at their own game by subscribing to AARP Fraud Watch Network alerts and texts. At aarp.org slash beatscammerstx, you can sign up to receive information that helps you recognize and avoid the latest scams. That's aarp.org slash beatscammerstx. You know that sound anywhere. It's the crisp crunch of that first nacho chip. With its perfect cheese to sour cream ratio sitting atop a layer of delicious beans, it's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Back, back, back. To Mick Shots. The 2024 CONMEBOL Copa America USA is coming to AT&T Stadium. Watch the best players from North and South America take the field for the chance to lift the trophy. It all starts on June 21st when Peru and Chile meet in Arlington. Then the USA takes on Bolivia on June 23rd before a quarterfinal match on July 5th. Tickets are available now at SeatGeek.com, the official ticketing partner of AT&T Stadium. And we continue on on Mix Shots, brought to you by Miller Lite, here at the SWBC Studios. Everson, Savannah, and Mickey here with you as the Cowboys uh, should be out on the field here, uh, getting ready for Mm -hmm. that OTA practice. Mm -hmm. Uh, With the sun shining, thank you. God, although we're supposed to get some rain this afternoon. Yeah, I think later this week. We don't for like the next three I don't think we need any more. Can no. we save it? I wish I had a big <laughs> barrel in the back, right? Save it for Just July. Just save it for July and oh, August. We're going to need that. <laughs> yeah. Get, your, oh, get a man. cold plunge. Put, put a, hunt, a, a, a pump in it with a hose and use it to water my grass <laughs> and, instead of paying the, for the grass. Yeah, somebody said something about water i said no the only water in july and august is we it comes out of the ground not into it Mm. (laughs) okay so let's go here uh we mentioned cd lamb earlier i asked uh, everson if he knew who nico collins was and i must admit i probably wasn't paying attention enough he's the wide receiver for the texans he just signed a three-year, $72.5 million contract. 72.5. Three years. Three years. So that means that's an average of $24.5 million for a guy that just kind of showed up, right? He ended up with 80 catches, 1,297 yards, eight touchdowns, 10 starts. Mm-hmm. So if he gets that... <laughs> And it's the seventh highest paid average now in the NFL for wide receivers. C.D. Lamb finished with a league leading 135 catches for 1,749 yards, which was second, but set the Cowboys uh, franchise single season record on both accounts, 135 receptions, 1,749. 49 yards receiving, 12 Mm. touchdowns in 17 starts. And right now, the highest average in the league is A.J. Brown at 32 million with 51 guaranteed. Next are Amon Ra St. Brown, Mm -hmm. 30 million average, and Tyree Kill, 30 million average, but with $52 million guaranteed. Mm. So if you're C.D. Lamb's agent, where you start? Or Jefferson. 
or Jefferson mm -hmm. or Jamar Chase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was or, just looking that up. Where we're or at. T. <laughs> Higgins, who mm -hmm. has been franchised but has not signed it yet. Mm. So it's a wide receivers day, boy. So where are you start? What are you What are you asking for? I don't know, but I, I met Nico this off season. Uh, well, actually, oh, that's why you knew who he was. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I knew he was him? already. Uh, we were at a uh, coaches convention and a McDonald's All American Award mm -hmm. uh, convention down in uh, South Padre, and I went down there and I met him. He's a really cool guy. Uh huh. He's got he's got me by at least three inches. Really? Yeah, I'm standing up next to the guy, and I'm looking up. As, as really? He, yeah, I'm looking up. He's a wide receiver. I'm looking up at him, and I'm just thinking to myself, wow, what would I have to do with this guy? He's a little gangly, but he's very athletic. Uh, just wasn't much of a public speaker. <laughs> I should have gotten his check because I did all the damn talking. <laughs> but, uh, no, he was a really cool guy. Uh, they love him down south in Texas. Uh, I would imagine CJ had something to do. Not, I know he's just a young yeah. quarterback, but he has something to do with him getting that money because yeah. the run that they made at the end of the season the was success. unheralded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those things that you know puts a lot of optimism into every everyone in camp. So I think that was one of those feel good moments for them as a team right. to say, okay, we're going to keep these guys together as long as we can because CJ and uh, Rico Nico uh, both did a great job. So when I see that, I'm sitting there going, they're, they're asking for $40 million right. average, mm -hmm. right? That's almost, well, that is quarterback money. So Jerry's up here like, no, no. Yeah, well, quit no, signing Nico, these stop. guys. <laughs> no. What are you doing to me, right? Because A.J. Brown got an extension. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and his was $51 million guaranteed. So you, you can... See these numbers dwarf everybody mm. else's, right? So how does how, would this delay things for us? Well, you know, here's, probably. Here's I would. Deal. I would think it would. Here's yeah. the deal: C.D. Lamb's agent and Justin Jefferson's agent. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> not the same guy, but same agency. Exactly. Gotcha. So no one wants to pull the trigger, <laughs> right? Because then the other guy could top me. How long can they go like this? Well, I mean, come on. After a while, someone has to, to blink. Right. Right. So, I mean, and, and how does this affect us in regard to getting our affairs together? Does that affect that getting any money? Does it affect his contract? Does it affect what he's thinking about going into the next season? You know, that's all I care about. I can yeah. give a damn about those other wide receivers. Right. But, uh, but I want to know how that affects our football it operations affects them because here. neither guy wants to go first. Right. Signing a deal. So they're both sitting there kind of, I don't want to say it's collusion, but they're well, yeah, comparing numbers, right? I, I, and that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. As long as you guys, let's, let's make a move. Let's make a move together then. We can make it have a concerted move, you know what I mean? A coordinated move. Get it going. Towards getting right. in the same agency, mm -hmm. right? We can all we can all get paid, right? You know, and, but, but the problem is they can both ask for the same, but doesn't mean both teams are going to say. Two different say, teams. Oh yeah, two different teams. We're in That's on right. this, right? <laughs> no, the teams won't cooperate. So it's kind of complicated. <laughs> it is. I think it's the long game. I think that it's going to take a little bit longer than I think everyone's wanting. Yeah. How long are we thinking? I mean, are we talking into training camp? Is CD going to show up for training camp? I don't know. Hey, See he's, under, he's under contract. Okay. I so, was too. Right now. <laughs> I was. <laughs> it wasn't for $30,000, but I was under contract as well. But they I were, held out. <laughs> were they fining you? <laughs> yes, they did. $1,000 a day. Did they really? Yeah, they, well, they did. But when I signed, then you just signed. They, right. They get rid of it. They didn't right. worry about they it. They give you four more thousand. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I think I was I was out for like a week. Were you really? What yeah. year was it? That was in 82. So your second year? Mm-hmm. Because you only signed a one year. As no, a, no, I, I had other. But man, I, I signed a, I signed a three year, with an option, if I'm not mistaken. But, dude, I was leading the league twice. Come on, I'm not. Uh, -uh. Yeah. no, I'm not coming to camp. <laughs> I mean, I'm not coming to camp. You know, Gil, know he got away with something at that time. So, and I think what what spurred me on was they tried to come to me with another 
uh, lowball contract and act as if they're doing me a favor. Hey, ever since you're making thirty thousand, hey, here's eighty. You know, everybody else is making two fifty at the Pro Bowl. I just left them. <laughs> they, 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 hey, Everson, go get your right. money. Oh, okay, I, here I go. And so that's what I did. I was listening to a lot, a lot of veterans who steered me the correct way. So the fact that that uh, Gil tried to act as if he was uh, being generous by bumping me from thirty to eighty, I, I think he thought I was going for the okie doke or something. I was not going for that mm-hmm. because it just doesn't make any uh, physical. Uh, 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 what's the word? It doesn't make any uh, economic sense. Right. Yeah. And so, Even though you got a big raise. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I did. I did. But I, I, I didn't take that. I, I played. That's what the controversy was. I came back in without signing. I still played for whatever the, the original contract. So I, as like the kids do now, they, I bet on myself. Right. And I came out and, and I won. So so I think we'll we'll f- find out about the Cold War next week <laughs> when it's the mini camp because yeah. exactly. we'll that's know not voluntary, mm-hmm. right? And if you remember last year, he ain't coming. Remember when uh, Zach was CD ain't coming. Zach was kind of quietly holding out. Remember, remember he had a hamstring. Mm-hmm. Well, he mm-hmm. was angling for mm-hmm. a raise, mm-hmm. but as long as you're here, you don't have to participate, you're right? So you don't get fined for I, the mini camp. I could see that. I could see that. And same thing with Zach when we went to I think, training camp I think camp I hear CD's year. hamstring right? bothering him right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can hear it, yes. So that'll be interesting to <laughs> Playing see. Playing the long game. <laughs> right. Yeah, when it's, when it's no longer voluntary. Right. Uh, you know, we can say, well, what do mandatory mean? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to get fined. I guarantee you what that. What do mandatory mean? Yeah, so anyway, interesting uh, conundrum there on, on trying to get that. Uh, settled out Um, and then quickly the Cowboys so 13 of the top 14 paid players in the league are quarterbacks and the Cowboys have to play number eight Deshaun Watson number four Lamar Jackson Number 12, for what it's worth, twice, Daniel Jones. Mm -hmm. Number 9, Jarrett Goff. Number 10, Kirk Cousins. Uh, Number 2, Joe Burrow. But they also have to play Justin Fields Mm -hmm. if he's the starter Mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, Mm -hmm. just as a name. Uh, Brock Purdy, still San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts, twice. Uh, Bryce Young, first pick in the draft. Uh, Caleb Williams, first pick in the draft. And then Baker Mayfield, uh, assuming he's the starter, mm-hmm. I assume, in, in Tampa be. Bay. Uh, oh, and I, I forgot C.J. Stroud, who, mm-hmm. by the way, he's on his rookie deal, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's not, you know, like an obnoxious base salary number. Mm-hmm. So that's the list of quarterbacks that are kind of prominent, either yeah. by experience or just name where they got drafted. That's quite a list. Only about three of those really concern me. So who, who concerns who you most be? besides Lamar Jaylen, Jackson? Jalen, Lamar. Uh-huh. Burroughs, really, as good as he is, he doesn't concern me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we play, didn't we play them? We played them. We played them well. Cincinnati? Yeah, didn't we play them? Not, uh, we didn't play him last year. Not last year. The year before? Was I think he, it was the year before. Yeah, we did We did. Was well. he hurt? Was he, did he, did he well. play? I think he played. Yeah, he, he did? Played. Okay. Yeah, we did well. Because uh, he's coming off of an, an injury still, correct? It was the hand injury, Joe Burrow? At the end of the season. Right? This yeah. year? Yeah. Because at first it was the the, um, yeah. the calf. Because mm-hmm. I, I saw something that he threw in the OTA practice. Mm-hmm. Jared Goff bother you? Goff does. He does bother me. I bet the whole team bothers me. The coach bothers me. Yeah, they, he does. I mean, no, I mean, they're good. They're good. They're I, so I, good. They're uh, intimidating. They can be intimidating. And then C.J. Stroud. And Stroud, he, bought, he he concerns me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I yeah. agree with you. It's, uh, you know, when we talk about the schedule, we talk about teams, but more so quarterbacks because we know what drives the league. The only one that would probably surprise me is Deshaun Watson. 
uh, because he just really wasn't ready last year. Mm -hmm. It's like coming back from an injury. You do, the first year is going to be tough. The second year, okay, I'm, uh, my feet feel a little better. But right now, he's I think he's going for – I'm sure this offseason he is going all out to get better. But you could just tell his timing wasn't there. His instincts were, had, had failed him last year. Uh, before that, though, if you recall, he was one of the – more uh, courageous quarterbacks in the NFL. So I'm, I, if he gets gets his stuff on track, then that would be a fourth one that would just bother mm -hmm. me. So it's really because important. Because their defense is well, is good as well. Right. Their defense is good. Really so good. really important now that Deron Bland has established himself as an outside corner mm -hmm. that Trayvon Diggs comes back as Trayvon Diggs mm -hmm. after his – ACL right. right. Let's Injury. hope. Let's hope that he, you know, he doesn't. I, I don't want that buffer year, you know, like we have with Michael Gallup. I want him to come back, you know, at least as close to 100 percent as possible. Yeah, because then you get those two guys on the outside, Jordan mm -hmm. Lewis in mm -hmm. the slot. Mm -hmm. But then now I need some guys to step up, and those guys are getting reps. Now. We have we have returning playmakers. We have returning playmakers. In, in the same spots that we need them, it's it's the it's the backups, it's the depth that has to be strong for us. Our nickel package, our dime package, has to be good. You know, we can't have if we decide to go to this to, to the dime package, we gotta be able to play the run better. Yeah. You know, all those things that we know has burned us that we all remember in this room. I'm sure they remember it over there as well. It's burned in their <laughs> minds yes, too. It is. Exactly. Oh my God. So. Stop the run, get to the quarterback. That's right. And overall, sure. all defense. There you go. All defense. Every facet, right? Exactly. Hey, all right. Before we go, no, 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 no. Yes. You got one Grambling last thing. State University oh, my. baseball. Oh, Let's it's a go. baseball Swag. school. Come on, man. That's right. We're baseball. Before it was basketball. Then we're basketball school. school. <laughs> <laughs> now football has to catch up, just like Dallas, right? Come on, just like Dallas, the, the football team has to catch up. But they were 500. They were like 26 and 26. In baseball. In, in baseball. And yeah. they won the conference and they tournament. Won the, yeah, over Jackson State, So now we're doing very well. Where do they go? What uh, a and &M. They go to A&M. They go to A&M? Yeah, well, right. they play A&M. Yeah. I don't know where they go to play, if but they A play A&M. hosting. Yeah, I got sent you the video, and I think he said it's going to be a long – they were on the bus. Right, oh, celebrate. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. very cool. <laughs> they on the bus, they holding the trophy, but then he said it's going to be a long ride to the video. At the end of the video, the commentator had made fun of. It. He said it's going to be a long bus ride to wherever they have to play. I can't remember where it is. If they're in Wait, but he actually called out College Station. Well, no, I don't think they're they playing play? at, where are they but play? it's it's, it's a in the four tournament. team. It's a four team regional. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. so they're away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to it's think. It's the College Station Regional. Oh, it is. So it will be the number one seed. Yes. So they're, 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 they're in with Louisiana, Texas, Grambling State, and mm -hmm. Texas A&M. The University of Louisiana. Some yeah, heavy they hitters. Too. Oh, yeah. Texas is pretty yeah, good. We can beat A&M. Louisiana is the number two seed, actually. Can, that's true. We can beat A&M, though. We can beat A&M. Who do they play the first round, Chris? Does it say? A&M plays Grambling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. and then Louisiana plays awesome. Texas. Mm -hmm. Well, it's double elimination. Yes. <laughs> double elimination. <laughs> See, I can throw these headphones at you, man. Don't right? say that. Don't put it out there like that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a, a robust mix shots here with the three of us. And uh, we'll be back uh, next week. Chris, on Monday, maybe? Monday for the final show before our break. Final show. Aww. I didn't want to say it. I wanted Chris to say it. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, hope you guys will be back joining us. And we'll see you next time. Go Cowboys. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!